Here we go. Welcome to webinar 109. And the theme tonight is bringing in the new. We bring in the new by so many ways and each of us are so unique, we bring in even more. We are gonna bring in so many blessings for all of us this year and we're all gonna move forward together as a team. Tonight, we are gonna be discussing the law of attraction. And it's a beautiful modality in which to include into your practice. So let's begin all good things as we normally do. Let's bow our heads and bring a little peace and gratitude and bring in those archangels to be with us if we would please. Thank you. Thank you so very much. We are totally blessed. We have 17, is that right? 17, 17 archangels with us tonight. So everybody has all their angels and all their guides with us. And that's beautiful in itself. So this is webinar 109. We are moving right along. With the law of attraction, the complete order of the universe is determined including everything that comes into our lives and everything you experience through life. It does this through the magnetic power of your thoughts. And we know that thoughts through the law of attraction attracts like thoughts like minds about what you think is about what you bring about. So how can this be? And again, we're back at scientific stuff. Under <clears throat> laboratory conditions, of course, we all know about that. The cutting edge of science has now confirmed that every thought is made up of energy itself, and has its own unique frequency. We already knew this, didn't we? So that's beautiful in the self. So with all these unique frequencies and when this energy are even more frequent of a single thought that radiates around you, out into the universe, it naturally interacts with the material world, so to speak. Of course, it has long been knowing that matter or physical objects are also just packets of energy at the sub microscopic level, the quantum level. And so your thoughts radiate all around you, just like our broadcast messages send that out so do our thoughts. So like objects, even like people, draws things to us. So the more positivity we apply to the world and to what we do and our thoughts about what's going on in our own home and around us can bring that magnetism to threefold. So it follows that your thoughts actually become things, as we know when we manifest. But the frequency of this goes out so far, we vibrate. And people just aren't aware sometimes at what these vibrations mean to so many. So there are several things we can do about law of attraction, and it's so beautiful about the law of attraction. It is amazing. Simply put, the law of attraction that you will attract to your life, whatever you're focusing on. So if you focus on something bad, what's gonna come back at you, but bad. So if we always focus on the positive, that's what's gonna to come to us. And that's beautiful. 
So we will attract into our life that frequency. So whatever you give your energy to and attention to will come back to us threefold. So if you can stay focused on the good and the positive things in your life, it helps not just us, but just think of the positive energy it puts out to the world. And we really need that right now. So if you're looking for the most powerful manifestation techniques, visualization is one way. The technique has been in use for a very long time with stunning results. But many people, when they visualize or manifest, they don't believe in what they're manifesting. So their dreams do not come true. They don't manifest what they need. As Paulo has told us, it only takes 60 seconds. You can just take 60 seconds when you lay down at night to think about what you need and what your dream is. Picture it in your mind and then seeing it come to fruition. It's amazing. It is beautiful and we're blessed by this. Some of the signs that law of attraction is actually working is thinking about something and then amazingly you get a phone call if you're thinking about a person and you get a phone call or you get a note from them you get a card from them it is beautiful what we can bring into us the increased synchronicity of this is amazing like the numbers 111 11 semicolon 11 if you see these numbers coming to you that means that your manifestation is coming true. And you will be showing this very shortly. I have seen it so many times in the last few weeks. It is, I thought, ah, this has got to be a joke in some way. This cannot be, but it wasn't. And it has. So we need to remember that we can do such beautiful things. And we need to remember how blessed we are to do this. We have been given gifts that others are not granted. And we can teach others, healers helping healers. And I think that's very beautiful. So make sure you're going in the right direction. Make sure you're focusing and believe, believe that it will come true because it does. And it's very amazingly so even music, there's so many ways to do this beautiful law of attraction and we are so blessed to be able to do this and paulo i will turn it over to you please thank you let me undo you here hon yes thank you cynthia can you share um, can you allow me to share my you betcha let me get it up here Boop. there we go thank you so much Okay. Okay, beautiful. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. It's so beautiful what uh, you have uh, shared, Cynthia. Uh, as thank you, you have me. mentioned, um, or thoughts, they become reality. Mm -hmm. We have the power to create, to co-create everything beautiful we want around us. Mm -hmm. And something that is very nice, and it's a blessing for us, is that we, as uh, healers, we know how to deal with our own emotional baggage. Why I feel that is a blessing. 
because I have seen in my practice that when we want to manifest something, anything, some things that are very easy to manifest and some others, they take time or it's difficult for us to manifest. Uh, the reason that is difficult sometimes to manifest some things, even that we are positive, and even that we have, um, like we build positive thoughts, and perhaps that we like uh, read a lot of law of attraction, or we watch video, uh, YouTube videos, is because we have emotional baggage. And we have emotional baggage related with a specific issue. So it's a blessing that we know how to deal with that. And dealing with the emotional baggage is like if we want to manifest, let's say that, so let's say that one person, for one person, it's very easy to manifest the money, but it's very difficult to manifest a loving relationship. So that person needs to deal with the emotional baggage and see what's the energy that is blocking. And then everything will work absolutely beautiful. With so many things, we don't have emotional baggage and it's very easy to manifest. For example, I'm going to share right now a process. It's a game, I call it a game. And this game, I call it the magical creative box. As you can see in this photo, uh, this is um, a game uh, that she called games or processes that I have learned from Esther Hicks. Um, she teach the teachings of Abraham Hicks. So this is one of the processes that she suggests. Every year I do it and I have more than one. So I'm gonna explain this game. Um, and if you feel for, for, for it, do it. It's fun and it's wonderful to do it. Number one, uh, you need a box. You need a beautiful box. It could be any type of box. It could be like a, like a box made of paper. It could be a shoe box. It could be um, a wood box, any type of box. And you decorate the box as you want it, decorate the box. Perhaps you buy the box and you love the way it is, so that's perfect. But something important is that you will write in your box, like you can see in this photo. Let me go back. You will write whatever is contained in the box is. It's very important you will write this in the box in any place, but in a place that you can see it, in a place that you can read it. So you will have your box and you will write that in your box. And then what you will do in the box is that you will include in the box whatever you will like to include in your experience. When I say in your experience, I talk about our physical reality. This is our physical reality. So absolutely anything you want to include, anything you want to have could be money, could be a travel, could be more friends, could be like new books, could be like help, could be love, could be absolutely everything and anything you want. You are going to put in your magic box. How you will do it? Well, you can, uh, you can have magazines or you can have catalogs or you can have brochures and then you can look through them and you can look for whatever you would like to manifest in this physical reality. And then you can clip them out, pictures, anything, everything you want uh, that, that, that exemplifies your desire. Uh, that holds, that has your desire. It could be um, like perhaps you want a, like a new painting for your house, or perhaps you want a new furniture, perhaps you want to buy a new house, perhaps you want to change your bed, or perhaps you want to buy a new car, or perhaps you want to improve your health. I mean, you can ask everything. I mean, it's not necessary that you will include only one thing, 
you can include million of things until that box is full and then you can empty the box and you can and you can add more things uh, if you want i mean if you don't have like the photos of the magazine or the pictures uh, you can take i mean this is not a piece of paper but let's imagine you can take a piece of paper and in the piece of paper with a pen you can write your desire uh, let's say that you want to to have a vacation in the beach so you can write it down vacation in the beach like that and then you will put your desire in the box and i will explain you how you will do it so um so let's see when you before you put inside a box it's very important that let, let's go back to the example a vacation in the beach okay so um it's very important to ask yourself how does this make me feel so how having a vacation in the beach will make me feel and then you ask yourself you, you answer yourself sorry well it makes me feel joy oh i feel happy oh it's so excited or i feel proud of me i feel satisfied i feel freedom because i love to go to the beach and meditate or run in the beach so i feel freedom or ah, i feel relief all these emotions are positive emotions and it's very important that for every desire everything you want to manifest in your physical reality it's very important that you will feel these feelings or other feelings that are positive feelings so if you for example going back to this example going on a vacation to the beach if i feel joy relief freedom happy then i will put my desire inside my magic box i can search in the magazine like only like a photo of a nice beach or a photo of the place i want to go and if i don't have magazines or if i don't find the photo of what i want in the magazine i will write it down in a post-it in a paper and then that paper or that or that picture you are going to drop it in the magic box and at the moment that you drop it you will say whatever is contained in the box is thank you thank you thank you why you will do this the vibration that you will send to the universe it's very important that will be the vibration uh, that you already have that not that is something that you don't have that you have it because the universe don't understand what you have and what you don't have the universe what recognize is our vibration so if it's like a vacation in the beach you say whatever is in this box is thank you thank you thank you and you assume that you have it already if what you want to manifest uh, let's say it's a it's a telephone so you can search for a photo or you write it down you will place it you will ask yourself how this makes me feel and then you are going to place it inside and it's very important everything that you will to put inside that magic box forget about the desire you don't need to think about the desire again 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 and again or ask for the desire why because if you get obsessed with the with, with the desire that you put inside the magic box you are going to vibrate luck you are going to vibrate the absence of the desire for example if you want let's see to manifest a new a, a, a new cell phone you put it in but then every week you say oh i don't have it and i really want it but i don't have it what's the vibration that you are sending the absence of the telephone so it's very important uh, step number one in manifestation is ask we need to ask i have seen that some people 
they don't know what they want. So if you don't know what do you want, it's easy. Take a piece of paper and write what you don't want. And then that small exercise will help you to know what do you want. So when you know what do you want, you are going to put those desires in this creative box. And you will repeat whatever is contained in this box is, thank you, thank you, thank you. Why thank you, thank you, thank you? For me, being thankful and appreciation is very important because I believe that more we appreciate things, more we will, more the universe will give us back of what we appreciate. And a small example of this is imagine that today um, you give like, like a box of chocolates to someone you love. You have seen the box of chocolates or any other gift. You bought it with love and you are giving with love to someone you love that gift. And let's say that the person is saying like, hmm, okay. And he's putting the box of the chocolates away. Do you want to give to that person again another gift? Will you ever think again on buying a box of chocolates for that person? No. It's the same with the universe. Appreciate everything, every day, everything you have. Appreciate your health. Appreciate the air you breathe. Appreciate your eyes. Appreciate your kids, your dogs, your cats, the people you love, uh, the electricity in your house. More you appreciate something, more the universe will give it to you. So with the creative box, it's the same. And then I will tell you something else about this creative box. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, I, I told you already, step number one is ask in the process of law of attraction. Step number two is let it go, believe. Step number three is allow. And let it go, it's very difficult. Why is very difficult? Because most of the time we want to, when we ask something, we want to manifest everything we want the way we want. We need to let it go. Um, a beautiful exercise to let it go that always I suggest is, you can believe in, in anything or in everything you want. For example, I believe in God and I believe in the angels. So when the first time in my life that I did exor this exercise, uh, I have asked a sign. So you need to ask for a sign. It needs to be a sign. A sign could be like a specific type of flower, a sign could be seeing a rainbow. A sign could be seeing a bird. I mean, a sign. You will not ask for a sign like a car or a new house. It's a sign. So in my case, eh, when I did this exercise, I asked God, please give me a sign that I am not alone, that you are with me and you are helping me to manifest everything I want, just like that. And that the sign that I asked, it was a red, a red flower, a red rose. I let it go, and it's very important. At the moment I have let it go, I have not uh, tell God, you need to make my partner to give me the, the red rose, or you need uh, or the way you are going to manifest the rose in my reality is because my neighbor is going to give it to me or my mom is going to give it to me or I will buy it in the supermarket. No, I have let it go. And I say, you are in charge of this. This is your job. Your job is to manifest in my, in my physical reality a sign. And the sign I'm asking you is a red rose. So I let it go. And I have not asked when. I have never said it needs to be today or it needs to be next week or it needs to be next month. Why? 
because God, I mean, in my case that I believe in God, God has more than 1,000 forms or manners to, to manifest everything you ask for, everything you want. Make this exercise. It's a beautiful and it's a very interesting exercise. Why? Because when you ask for a sign, you let it go. You don't ask how that is going to happen in your physical reality and when. You are not vibrating the absence. You are not having doubts. You are not having fears. You give your desire to someone else and you believe that that you have it already that is gonna happen in your physical reality so it was so beautiful because like this i have manifest that rose the way i manifested is i have a i have a friend she lives in stockholm and she wrote me a message elizabeth uh, wrote me a message and she was saying to me oh hello paola how are you Today I'm thinking about you because today I am wearing the blue hat you gave me. And, and in the telephone, in the, in the WhatsApp, she, she, she put like an hemoticon, the red rose. Can you imagine that? So it was absolutely beautiful. And the interesting thing is that I have never gave my friend that blue hat. But she manifests the sign. She has manifest the sign. So ask for the sign because, for example, in my case, um, the, the, how, how you can manifest something? Someone will write like a emoticon for you. Perhaps you are looking to your Facebook or to your Instagram and you will see the sign there. Perhaps you are watching the TV and you will manifest the sign there. Perhaps um, someone will knock your door and will bring a surprise for you. For example, Jennifer that is connected, she told me a story. She has asked also for flowers and, and her husband uh, came and gave her those flowers that she has asked for a sign. So the universe, uh, God, the angels, uh, whoever you believe, they have million manners, um, million ways to help you to manifest what you ask. So I will encourage you to ask for a sign because you will see that it's very easy to manifest the sign if you let it go. And that easy that is to manifest the sign is the same when we want to manifest something. Everything is possible. Is our birthright. We lose our alignment uh, after we're born because all the emotional baggage that we have and the reason i wrote point seven here in this slide is because if you want to manifest something let's say that you want to manifest a new a new cell phone but you are you are saying okay how do i feel now that i have a new cell phone and the answer is i don't believe it no 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 no. Mm -mm. i'm having fears because i don't have money no, impossible. I cannot buy it. I don't have money. I don't have projects. I don't have a job. There's no way that I will manifest the telephone. Because sometimes that happens. We are humans and that's okay. So if something you are asking before you place that thing in the creative box, you feel fear, you are having doubts, you feel stuck, you feel powerless, you feel angry or you are having any lower vibration, that's okay. The only thing you need to do is deal with that emotional baggage. Release the fears. Release, if you feel stuck, ask yourself why I'm feeling stuck and release. I mean, we, are, we, we, we know how to muscle test. So for us to do this is very easy. If I will share this with uh, people that they don't know how to remove or release their own emotional baggage, I will not tell them this because they don't know how to do it. But we are blessed. We know how to do it. So that is important. But I mean, doing this game is a beautiful game. It's a fun game. And most of the things that you are going to put inside that box, I'm sure that you will feel joy and that you will feel happy. 
I only share with you this last uh, last uh, topic because perhaps in, in something specific you will say, hmm, this is not making me feel good. It's okay, deal with emotional baggage. And then one week after that, try to put that thing inside of your box. And if you are, for example, if you are driving and, and, and when you are driving, you think, oh, I want to put something in my creative box that I haven't thought, then you can do it with your mind, place it inside your box, ask yourself how this makes you feel, uh, repeat what I told you already, and then when you are back home, do it and place it inside. And then here is an example. You can put everything. For example, if you want to travel, put it in the, in the magic box. If you want to have a perfect weight because you want to lose weight, place it inside. If you want to have more friends, do it. If you want to have a new certification, if you want to have more money, if you want to read more books or to have a book, a car, a cell phone, if you want to get married, if you want to manifest a partner, um, if, you, if you want to have better health or more health, if you want a new job or, or you don't have a job and you want a job, you can put absolutely everything. How small or how big, for example, mine, I don't have it here right now. So mine is like this. So yours, I mean, choose like a medium size like this. And, and do these steps and you can, in six months, you can open your box and you can check everything that is in the box or at the end of the year, if you are curious, you can open the box and you can check what is inside the box and you are, you are going to be surprised. And I will tell you something, whatever you put inside your box and you manifest very fast, all those things, that you are manifesting, uh, you are not vibrating the absence or the lack of that thing. Whatever takes more time to manifest is because you have fears. So you can analyze with your conscious mind, hmm, why after seven months or eight months, I haven't manifest this? And that is because you have emotional baggage. So, this is what I wanted to share. Thank you. Thank you, Paulo. That was beautiful. My blessing box, I actually call it my Reiki box, is, is wooden, but I didn't think about decorating the outside. But when you talked to me about that a couple weeks ago, I went ahead and manifested brought about some healing and it's it's obviously working kayla have you ever manifested just a sec ah hmm hmm Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> um, I had an option to stay muted or to unmute myself. Thank um, you. Have I ever manifested with a vision board? Mm -hmm. And I got everything on it, but my house on the lake. So <laughs> must be doing something right. <laughs> yes. And how long did it take you to manifest that? Um, well, I made it in 2017 and I say I'd have everything by 2019. Um, I got my car, got married. Can't even remember what else was on there. I took it a year ago. Um, yeah, I can't even remember. I think I had my body code certification on there too, which I got certified in that in 2017 too. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to make a box. And I think this is going to be my every year my yearly thing yes. yes i think it's amazing i, I didn't lots even of notes on it yes me too i didn't even think about going that far paula with it that is amazing to actually go that far and we can actually this may sound silly but um we can mm, 
how do I say this right? Can we actually manifest for other people? Paulo, do you know? Can we like do that for our family? Unfortunately, it's not that easy. I That's what I thought. Part. Yeah, because we are only on charge of our vibration. For example, I have seen in couples, uh, one, one person sometimes is very peaceful and it's very happy and it's very, very, very center-minded. And then mm -hmm. the partner is like the a positive. He or she is always angry, is yelling, etc., etc. And they ask me, can I do something? Unfortunately, no. You work for yourself and you work to raise your vibration. Why? Because we manifest uh, something that is very important when we talk about manifestation is how we feel. We need to be in alignment. For me, being in alignment is equal to feel happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are like angry all the time and yelling and very angry, your desire is here and you are here. Right. So we need to rise our vibration and we need to be happy. For some people, it's very, and we're born in alignment. I mean, we're born mm -hmm. happy. I mean, kids, you can see kids, uh, if it's cold, they are happy and they yeah. run. And, 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 and if it's warm, they are happy. But we lose our alignment because the trauma, because the things that happen to us, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I mean, it's easy to be in alignment again only we need to remove the emotional baggage that is not allowing us to feel happy. And then to have a morning practice always is important. But always I say, it needs to be a morning practice that you love. Mm -hmm. Because for example, some law of attraction coaches, they will tell you, you need to journal, or you need to meditate, or you need to do this, this, this. But perhaps you hate to do that. <laughs> so if you hate it, always I say, if you, if you don't like journaling, and you will journaling because Paola says that is good. If I want to manifest, I need to journal. Ugh, but I don't like it. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Because perhaps you love to sit in your balcony and drink a cup of tea and listen to the birds and see the clouds <laughs> and see the trees. That is better because yeah. that is something that is making you happy. That's important. It is important. Happiness is what makes the world. And when we stay negative, it comes back to us and the negative is just going to continue. I wish we could get this across the whole world so everybody can be blessed and be positive and raise the vibrations of this world into the positivity that we need and not all this negative garbage going around. We need love, we need peace, and we need harmony. So maybe we can manifest that together for the world and just keep putting that vibration out there because the more beauty we apply to everybody, the more beauty comes back. Remember what we do for our clients, for ourselves, for our family is beauty. These are things that they didn't even, I mean, my family still thinks I'm crazy for doing something like this. You should be nursing. You should not be doing this. Well, this brings me a little more peace. Does it you? Does it ladies? Does it bring you peace? Absolutely. Absolutely to be able to reach out and touch somebody all around the world and to watch their faces while you're on Zoom assisting them and watch their faces. When you get on there with them, they're sullen, their faces are pale. You remove the blocks and watch their cheeks just brighten up and the harmony flow around them. It's beautiful. And we are given that gift to bring to everybody. And I think we are gifts. And the more we teach and the more we go forth and do this, the more love we can create. And I think that's our job is to create love, to create friendship, to teach others what we have learned so they can go forth in their practices, our practices, because we learn from everybody. 
Everybody is so unique and beautiful. And we're so blessed with that. So thank you. Thank you, Paulo. Thank you, ladies. I am very pleased and full of love and gratitude for you. You are such special women. And that's what we need to do is stick together for ladies. We need to do more of that. I think it's beautiful. So do we have any questions? I do. Please. What's, what's the difference, um, Paola, between the box and a vision board? Because I've already done my vision mm -hmm. board and I go to it every day and I say, you know, I want a new husband, a husband, <laughs> and I will look at it and say, oh, I'm so grateful I have a new husband. He's kind, he's gentle, as though they've already all happened. Mm -hmm. So the difference between that and the box. I will tell you something, Susan. Um, the box, having the creative box is something additional. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that the name is, we need to build momentum. Yes. So mm -hmm. having the box, you build more momentum in what you want. Good. So having the box is additional. And it's like, Good. no, no, I want a new husband. Is thank you. I have a new husband. <laughs> I feel super happy. I feel proud of me. I did it. Is my new husband. I need the box. Awesome. I love well, it. I'm going to put it. my husband in a box tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Make sure you give him the color of eyes and the oh, hair. Yeah. You want yeah. everything you desire. Everything yeah. you are looking for, every quality that you would desire, put it on that paper and bring it forth. So you can write what you want if you mm -hmm. can't find a picture. Right. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it works very beautifully. I have a huge vision board. And when I was learning more and more about these. They kept saying, put it on the north wall, put it on the north wall. It needs to have the feng shui flowing in the room. I don't know what the north wall has to do with it, but okay. I just put it on the wall. <laughs> yeah, I've got mine on the north wall, so. Okay. But the, but the box that Paulo's talking about really puts a solid emphasis on everything. And it brings it all together, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. Because that, I like that it's so beautiful. We can vibrate where we want to be and hold ourselves up because we are gifts. We are all gifts from God. And I firmly believe in that. We are here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And I think that we can bring anything into our life we desire with the right mindset, the right thoughts, and the right vibrations. We can do amazing things. For ourselves and we could teach others and watch them just ah, get so excited um yesterday i was with a, working with a young lady in california and she says i had never heard of such a thing <laughs> i just kind of laughed and she goes i'm gonna do this right away and this morning she got a hold of me and she goes you know what i thought i'd just try it and you know what my friend called me and it really works. Now I'm going to go for it. And I thought, yay. Yeah. So it is a blessing and it's beautiful. Even if we do it slowly for clients, because sometimes it is a big jump for them to manifest. But look at the beautiful things it brings forth. Mm -hmm. Any more uh, questions? I, I have seen that um, when it's very difficult to manifest is mm -hmm. because people is not happy Mm -hmm. and or they have a lot of emotional baggage mm -hmm. or or beliefs for example i have seen especially women that they have the belief you cannot have everything or you <laughs> have money or you have love that's a belief yes that is not true yes. you can have everything you can have health you can have money and you can have love yes so sometimes our beliefs and sometimes it's good um, in manifestation to go beyond. Mm -hmm. For example, in the case of Suzanne, that she says a husband, you will put in your creative box that new husband that you already have, but you also are going to place in that box, like think where you will, what you would like to do with your husband. Let's see 
watch a movie together or go for dinner to this restaurant. So you are going to place in that creative box that you are having dinner in that restaurant with your husband or that you are moving, you are living in a new house with your new husband or you are moving to a new house with your new husband. Why sometimes it's good to go one step forward? Because then it's, it's more, more easy to believe we have it. Right. So sometimes, go, I, I'm going to give a quick example of myself because always I say, when it comes to manifestation, it's our birthright to have everything we want. So we need to manifest the big things. When you go one step forward and you are in alignment, it's more easy. I'm, and, and you let it go. I mean, let it go, trust, trust, let it go. For example, um, one of the biggest things I have manifest is, and I did it like a game with the, with the vision board, with the, with the virtual realities and with, the, with this magic box that I have said, I'm going to pay the, the loan that I have of my apartment. And I did it like a game. It was like a game. And, and what, what I put in that box, it was like I wrote in a paper and I feel it because it's very important to feel it. So, so, so I was feeling that I was um, in my apartment with uh, my partner. It was my, my sister was there. The, the kids of my sister, they were mm -hmm. there. And we were having like a, like a brindis. And I was saying, surprise, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> you know, use the imagination, use the, imag the, the imagination. Some other times when I was doing the virtual reality, because the virtual reality, you can do it more times. I was, I, I remember that in my mind was like I was in the bank and I was talking with the manager in the bank and I was telling him, um, how I pay you, I'm going to pay you today, how I would do it, I, I need to pay with check or how I need to do it, I'm like that. And I did it like, like, like again, and it was awesome how I have manifested the, the money. I have never asked, the money needs to come like in this direction or in this direction or in that direction. That year, I remember, I have closed like seven huge projects I was having <laughs> with, uh, with uh, an international organization. I mean, not, not energy healing work, other type of, other type of a job I was doing, and then it was incredible. And I have never asked for the money. I, I have asked for the things. I asked for the, I imagined that the loan bag was paid, that I was having like a new car, and it was, it was amazing. <laughs> and I did it like a game. Yes. And the limits you can go are just yeah. eternity. It's just goes and goes. You can manifest and vision board anything you wish and yes visualize that it has occurred because it is amazing i think we can all do it very beautifully and i think we're very blessed with that thank you ladies thank you so much any more questions are we good okay where we at? Why don't we go ahead if you would like to bow your heads and we'll have a little prayer and give some thanksgiving, if you would please. Thank you, Lord, for being with us tonight. We thank you for your blessed archangels. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the gifts that you give us. We thank you for each and every soul that is here tonight. And we ask that you guide them and bless them. We bless you, Lord, and we bless each one of these ladies, and we thank you for your kindness, your love, and we are so grateful for all you've brought. Amen. Amen. Blessings be. Namaste. Mm -hmm.